In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your Amazon seller account to be repriced by eSync. And this will work if you have an Amazon UK account, Amazon Italy, Amazon France, Amazon Germany, and Amazon Spain. So what I did is I clicked settings and then I clicked user permissions. And then you want to register as developer. So even though you're needing us to reprice your listings on Amazon, you'll still need to register as a developer. So you click register, use an email address that you would typically use, click verify email. You'll get a code sent to your email, verify that code, click continue, and then just enter some information about your seller account. <clears throat> You'll be provided with a developer ID and your MWS access keys. It says do not share these. That's just something that you wouldn't share publicly. We will need this information to adjust your listings and your prices on your Amazon seller account. So here's your access key ID and your secret access key ID. You'll copy and paste those into your eSync signup page. So now when you scroll down, you'll see you've got view your credentials if you go to the user permissions. Now that you've registered yourself as a developer, you'll copy your access key ID and your secret access key ID and enter that into your seller account setup on eSync. We will publish our developer ID for you and all you'll need to do at this point is authorize a developer. So you had to register as a developer and now you need to authorize a developer. So we'll give you our developer ID and then you need to authorize a developer. You can type in eSync and then type in our developer ID and click next. You'll get a couple of check marks. You need to approve and click next. Once you're done with that, you can close that tab. And then at this point, you should see that the authorized developer is now eSync and we will be able to adjust your prices and quantity on your Amazon seller account. And this is where you would plug this in. You would go to your eSync account, click add store, choose Amazon fulfillment, whichever country you're using. If you're using US, Canada, or Mexico, you'll have a specific developer ID from us that you'll need to use. And if you're using Germany, Spain, France, Italy, or the UK, you'll have another separate developer ID that you'll need to approve for us. So if I was gonna approve a German Amazon fulfillment account, this is where you would enter your seller ID, your access key ID, and your secret access key ID. Okay, that's it. If this video is helpful, please like and subscribe. Share with anybody that you know could use this information, and we'll see you next time.